Welcome to Second Opinion. We're so excited to share with you how this product is going to help you save time, educate your patients, and improve your case acceptance. When you first log into Second Opinion, you'll see the home page. Here on the home page, you'll see your patients in the order their radiographs were taken, the most recent patient first. You can click on this icon at any time to come back to the home page. And here you can type in the name of a patient that you'd like to search for. Once you click into a patient, you'll see the most recent series of radiographs taken. If you have multiple series for a patient, you'll see multiple dates along the top of the screen. Simply click into the date for the series you'd like to view. Here along the left-hand side of the screen, you'll see thumbnail views of each image in the series. You can click into these images, or you can use the up and down arrows on your keyboard to move through them. On the radiographs, you'll see the detections done by the artificial intelligence. Here you can see caries, including a percentage breakdown, calculus, notable margins, and bone measurements, which are measured from the CEJ to the bone crest done in hundredths of a millimeter. Also note the colored circles in the bottom right-hand corner of the thumbnail views. These circles indicate that there have been detections found on that image. Pink indicates the AI has found caries. Green indicates calculus. Blue indicates periapical radiolucency. And purple indicates notable margins. If at any time you'd like to view the image without the detections, simply hold down the spacebar and release it again to bring the detections back. On the right-hand side of the screen, you'll find all of the different tools you can use to view and analyze your radiographs. Click here to enter into a full screen view of the image you're currently viewing, and click here again to go back to your original view. Here you'll find a ruler to measure for things such as working lengths for endo. And here you can find our edit feature. If there's ever a detection you don't agree with, you can simply click the edit button, hover over that detection, and click the red X. This will remove that detection from the radiograph. You can click here to turn on tooth parts and here to bring up a legend. Tooth parts is a great tool to use in case presentation and has been shown to increase patient trust and case acceptance. It really helps patients visualize and understand what is happening with their radiographs. You also have all of the standard tools available in Perl that you would find in your imaging system. You can adjust brightness and contrast. You can zoom. You can invert the image, rotate the image, and flip the image horizontally. Lastly, we have our Enhance tool. This is a clarity setting for your doctors to set to their preference. Once set, this will apply to all images you view in Second Opinion. Here you can flip on and off all AI detections, or you can simply choose the ones you would like to view. You can also click into non-pathologies, or you can simply click on the ones that you would like to see. You can also flip on and off tooth parts and measurements. Our printout feature allows you to generate a printout with the patient's series of radiographs to send home with them. Simply click on the printout button and that is going to generate a PDF of those images. You can send this home with your patients. If you click into the circle on the top right hand corner of your screen and choose Customize Interface, this will allow you to choose between multiple offices if you have them and change some of the settings for those offices. You can decide if you want to see healthy bone level measurements or if you only want to see areas of concern. Pearl is here for you at any time with our help desk. Simply click here on the question mark and you can browse through our guides. If you're in need of help from our team, click into request support. Here you can submit a technical support ticket, report a bug, suggest a new feature, or let us know if you have any other questions. Please don't hesitate to reach out if we can help you in any way.